here's how to create a play.gg server. Before anything else, you have to decide which version of Minecraft to do this on, since you need your respective Java version to run it. For versions 1.12 to 1.16.5, you'll need Java 8. 1.17 and 1.17.1 uses Java 16, and 1.18 and higher uses Java 17 and above. For this demonstration, we'll be using Java 21 for Minecraft 1.21. First, we'll start with downloading Java 21. We'll open the installer and let it run as normal. Then we'll download Forge for 1.21. Make sure to get the latest. Click on skip and you'll have the jar file. Let's drag into our desktop and create a folder for our server. Put the forge.jar into the server folder and then double click on it. In the menu, click on install server and set the directory to the desktop folder you just created. Once finished, you might try to use run.bat to find out it doesn't work. The reason why is because you have to accept the EULA. Open the EULA.txt and change false to true. Now it's time to set up play.gg. Let's first download it from the website. Let's go for the installer as normal. Once done, you have to create an account for play.gg. After that, you'll be brought to a menu to create a tunnel. Let's set the tunnel type to Minecraft Java. Play.gg will generate you a server IP, so from there, you can just go copy that. Because this is a Forge server, you'll have access to adding mods. You can get mods through CurseForge or ModRin. After opening play.gg, you can now try running your server. To type in your server, you can use slash say. Well, that's basically your thing. To save your server manually, you can do slash save all. Close your server, you can do slash stop. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to like and subscribe. We're shooting for 1,000 subscribers. Alright chat, see ya.